Hello everyone. Welcome to session 2 of module 5, Test Planning and Estimation. So in this session we will learn about test planning, test estimation and test approaches or test strategies. So what is the purpose of test planning? Test plan is the project plan for testing work to be done in the project. So in your software development life cycle, your test plan is, is a project plan of all the testing activities that will be done in that will be performed in your software development life cycle. Test plan guides your thinking. So when you write the test plan, when you plan the testing activities in software development life cycle, it guides your thinking. Test plan forces us to confront the challenges that await us and focus our thinking on important topics. So whenever you, if suppose you start the testing randomly in the project, you most of the time you miss all the important aspects that you need to test. So what test plan does is it forces you to cover those important topics and the challenges or the risks that might occur in the testing phase of the project. So test plan always make sure once you write since it guides your thinking so once you start writing the plan you write every important aspect of the testing project you do not miss anything so you consider each and every important topics in your test plan test plan serves as the vehicle for communication with other team members and stakeholders so test plan also ensures that all your stakeholders and the, the team that you're working with is on the same page. They have the same communication, same information regarding the test activities that need to be performed in the project. And test plan helps to manage change. In case there is a requirement for a change in the project, then test plan helps you to manage the change as well. So what is the standard IEEE 829 standard test plan template? Right? So the first thing is test plan identifier. Then you introduce about the testing project in, in the development life cycle. Then you mention what, what are the test items in the project. For example, you have 10 modules what are the modules that are in scope that you need to that that need to be tested so what are the test items that need to be tested in the test cycle then what are the features to be tested so suppose th th there were 10 items to be tested then what are the specific features in those items that you need to be uh, testing then what are the features that are not gonna be tested so for example you have 10 features being developed but the the responsibility of in-house test team in the organization is to test only six out of um, those 10 features so features to be tested will be six and features not to be tested will be the remaining four features which might be tested by some other team who will have their own test plan and scope those features in their plan then what will be the approach of the testing and item pass and fail criteria so how will you identify whether your testing has passed or failed so you'll set up a criteria to decide whether the testing has passed or failed then suspension criteria and resumption criteria so in case um, in case you got a very critical defect and you need to suspend your testing for example you are not able to even proceed with the testing with any workaround 
then you need to def define the criteria when will your testing suspend so for example if you're not able to proceed further with the testing because of severity one critical defect then you will suspend the testing so that's that's one criteria for suspension so you'll mention the suspension criteria in your test plan and then when will you resume the testing again once that defect sev1 defects get fixed and it passes the retesting you will resume the testing so this is how you um, mention suspension and resumption criteria in the test plans there can be many suspension criteria and many resumption criteria defined in the test plan then what will be the test deliverables at the end of test cycle what will be the test deliverables that you will be delivering for example test strategy test plan suite of test cases uh, test script test scripts any automation scripts that will be developed so all the test deliverables that need to be delivered to the stakeholders will be mentioned in the test plan as well then what will be the testing tasks that need to be done in the testing life cycle what will be the environmental needs for example how the test environment will look like what will be the hardware requirement what will be the software requirement to set up that test environment so all those environmental needs will go into environmental needs section then what will be the responsibilities in the test project who will do what activities in the test cycle so which person will be responsible to do what testing in the cycle then what will be the staffing and training needs for example this is a huge project which requires a team of 20 testers so all those uh, staffing and training needs will be mentioned in this section that we need a staff of 20 people to achieve this um, testing in this time frame and since this is specialized software which requires a specific skill in automation so we need a training on uh, on some automation tool which can be acquired to automate this project to automate the testing activities of this project then what will be the schedule of the complete uh, testing cycle that also goes into your test plan when you will start which phase so when functional testing will start when system testing will start and finish so all this scheduling information go also goes into the test plan and then any risk and contingencies in the project are documented as well and then find the approvals so what what are the approvals required in order to progress with the testing effort so approvals required by which stakeholders uh, will be mentioned in the approval section so that's that's the standard test plan template a ieee standard test plan template and most of the organizations tweak this standard template to fit their needs so if you if you'll work in different it organization you will feel uh, you will find that there are different formats of test plan templates being used that suit best to the organization's testing needs or high level testing strategy being um, defined by the organization so what is the test planning hierarchy so the the highest level of plan is the master test plan the master test plan is the high level plan for the complete test project master test plan contains the complete information about how the overall project plan will overall project test plan will look like and then there were there are specific level test plan individual test plans which are no, also known as phase test plan for specific testing so for example you are doing functional testing right now so there will be a functional test plan for specific to functional test plan you you have this hierarchy in very complex kind of um, applications or softwares when you are testing in case you are testing just a simple software then you might have just one uh, test plan for the complete project 
but if it is a complex project which has separate individual test plan plans uh, individual phases then you have individual test plans you have functional test plan you have system test plan user acceptance test plan or performance test plan for doing specifically and the performance testing so this is uh, the overall hierarchy that how you have the test plan um, in the complete testing project so what are the activities of test planning test planning tasks that you need to carry out during test planning are as follows so you need to determine what is the what is in scope and out of scope uh, of testing so what needs to be tested what is in the scope of testing and what is out of scope of testing then you need to determine what what are the test objectives that you want to achieve by testing then any risks project or product risks need to be determined before you start um, writing the test plan then any constraints which might affect testing for example any hardware resources constraint or um, tester resources not available or any budget or time constraints for example this project has to be released within six months then there is a time constraint that it has to be released in six months so you will require more resources so all these constraints need to be um, determined in the first place and mentioned in the test plan then any most critical things to consider for the product or project so if there is any critical thing that needs to be considered for a project you need to consider those uh, those then any overall testing approach what will be the overall testing approach for the complete project any integration and coordination of testing activities assigning resources and test test scheduling for example which resources will be assigned to which resources will be testing what in the test life cycle and what will be the, what will be the test schedule look like when when the testing phase will start when it will end and if there are any test deliverables to be produced what are the agreed test deliverables that need to be produced at the end of test cycle for example test summary report test plan test strategy uh, test scripts manual and automation so what all test deliverables we need to deliver to the stakeholders and what will be the defect logging change and configuration process that you need to mention in your plan as well so for example if you are using Jira if you're using uh, Bugzilla for defect tracking uh, you are using some other tool for requirements management so all this information of tools will go into test planning as well and determining entry and exit criteria for testing activities as well so these are some of the activities of test planning this is not a comprehensive list but this is some of the activities very important activities that you need to determine before you start and go ahead with the test planning writing the test plan